you hate there lots of love and respect to yourself all the way from africa positive vibes only and crazy crazy videos to the end let's dive in don't lie in 2023 as we saw in our previous episodes in africa we don't lie people here are very honest because everybody in their home they have this grass called lemon grass and we saw in our previous videos that it it can be used to trap or identify someone who is lying like that guy you see you see this guy is shaking it's like even if he's not the one he's fearing you know this thing does not lie so if the something happens and you are the one ah it's very bad for you man Now, English people, do what do you think about this? We should also adopt this way as a way of detecting lies. Do you have no pure grass in America and those Australia or Canada? Do you guys have this this grass, lemon grass? This is a very interesting stuff. This this guy is fearing. He has even removed the cape. He's afraid. My God, he's a thief. I told you. He was looking very suspicious. Oh. Well, <laughs> you cannot imagine what will happen to this guy. You you can imagine if this is the court. Imagine now the punishment. Oh, if now this is the court that is used and the way it looks. It was somehow not not formal. It looks very informal. But so to use No, when it comes to the punishment, that's why it gets worse. Because my friend, like this guy, yo, yeah, I think he should even be crying. Share your thoughts about it, man. So this is the power of gua sha. Just look at her before and after. I'm going to show you how to do it too. So this was my face a few years back. You see that? Now I'm going to show you how you can gua sha without any tools. So we're going to use God's gua sha, our hands. Now doing gua sha is going to give you a healthier, younger looking face, slimmer face and also great skin, okay? All you need is lubricant of your choice. I'm using this. Apply it a nice thick layer to your face. Now apply a good layer to the nubs, your knuckles like right here, okay? This part, okay? Now, we're going to start by opening the termini, which is right here termini. Then you do this 20 times, okay? After that 20 times, you grab those lubricated knuckles. You find the space under your cheekbone, right? Like right here. You put your knuckles here, gentle force, and you drag it here and then you pull it down. Breathe through your nose the entire time, okay? You do that 6 times. After that, two fingers under the eye, right here. Same thing, 6 times, drag it down, drain it down, okay? Afterwards, jawline. Hmm? Both sides six times. Then, crown of your head, right where your hairline starts, and then down, down six times. Very simple. Bueno, que anda? Well, 哥哥姐姐们，你们知道雅坦木是怎么来的吗？今天就带你们看一下，师傅们从几千米的悬崖峭壁上取下来的，每一块木头都来之不易，在经过师傅的手艺加工出来，就变成了你们所看到的工艺品。你们看到的只是一件成品。成品的过程是要经过很多道程序的，所以每一件都是非常具有收藏价值的。嗯、um.。Oh my God. What is this? Okay. Is this some simulation? What is this a UFO? Yo, is that a UFO? Or just some lies?
Yo. Look at that creature down there. Well, it looks like Luprican. Oh my god. Yeah. What does the music do to you when you listen to his music? How do, does it affect you in a certain ways or something about the the mood, the, the ambiance of this? What does it do to you? Well, the music that and I'm beginning to work with Nicholas on his music, we make music for a purpose. It's not just background music or it's not just, you know, fluffy, light stuff. It's not, it's this for, is not elevator satanic music. It's no. ritualistic music. It is music it is that by, by even the act of listening to it, you are mm -hmm. participating in a satanic ritual. By listening to, so if I put this on and listen to it, I'm participating. But I'm just, you're a listener. Because I'm asking you, how does it make you feel? I it's mean, very stirring. It's very emotionally charged. You can't listen to this music and say you don't feel something because you do. I'm sure you would probably feel either hate or fear or rage or something. I but don't know, maybe he's a great musician. I well, just you say don't the guy's know. very talented. Right, but I would say that someone who would listen to it would probably feel very similarly to how one might feel if they're listening to classical music that is and bombastic but, and but here's, a song, here's a song called Incubus, which is about uh, sexual cohabitation with demons, a, a human being cohabiting with a spirit being. Right. That's what it is. That's correct. True. <laughs> so, um, and? how does that make you feel? <laughs> well, this is another I mean, This is a woman mythology. cohabiting with a demon. Right. There are succubuses, too, which does are Does that make you want to do it, or what? You I, that's really not, bring that's, it down to no, the I'm, lowest level. No, I'm asking level. you. He says it is ritual music that draws you well, into that, its intent. That particular intent. I'm song. I'm asking a point blank question. That Don't particular pass it song on. is does designed. Does it make you want to do that, or what does it do? He's named it Incubus. What does it do? It's very stimulating, of course. It's designed for sexual. It's designed arousal, to sexually of course, stimulate. Of course. This is the reason why most music artists and actors are demonic. In fact, the majority of Hollywood celebrities are Satanists and devil worshippers. They are warlocks and witches. Their duty is to make ritualistic music in order to make many people who listen to their songs in the name of entertainment to unknowingly take part in satanic rituals. Here are a few names to help ring the bell. Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Travis Scott, The Weeknd, Drake, Katy Perry, Doja Cat, and Taylor Swift. The sun is very local and not 93 million miles away. It takes a lot of faith to accept a subject that goes against your own senses. But what I recorded was 100% proof that the sun is not 93 million miles away. So check it out. So here's the video I took. As you can see, the sun is about to start rising and it's not even past the horizon. You can see the horizon in the background and the sun is gonna start rising through that thick layer of clouds right there. Now, if the sun is 93 million miles away, it would be rising at the horizon, not in the middle of the clouds right there. So I was at about 34,000 feet when I was recording this with my P900 and I don't see how that is possible if the sun is 93 million miles away. What do you think, man? Is the sun really 93 million miles away? Or just some scum? No. Oh. This is crazy, but I'd like to know your thoughts about it. We were taught differently at school. How do dark spiritual entities attach to people and how do they use us as a door to influence this world? So spirits get access to our influence in this world through what we think, say, and what we choose to release. Firstly, a dark spiritual entity attempts to convince us that what it is proposing to us is true. Thoughts are the overflow of a system of energy and structure under our conscious mind and a reflection of the spiritual energy we are connected to. Not every thought is your own original idea. They are how we are interpreting what we are connected to. We act out our thoughts after we have agreed with them. So I'm going to go through what an actual agreement is. 
Firstly, there is a proposal. I'm going to give an example. I have a thought about my friend, Emily. On the weekend, Emily only hangs out with me when nobody else is available to hang out with her. I'm never her first option. That is a thought that comes into my mind, which I'm going to term a proposal. So in my mind, I start to do the calculations. I'm doing this dance. Am I going to agree with this thought or this proposal, or am I going to say no to it? In the process and this dance in accepting this proposal, I'm thinking about all the evidence I can gather to agree with this proposal that will point me towards the fact that it's true or not true. If I say yes to this proposal, it floods in, it comes in and it gets access to me and then it releases according to its nature. So for example, I start to break relationships, I start to isolate myself and it starts to have its manifestation. If I continue to cultivate with this proposal and continue to say yes to the nature of this spirit, whatever spirit it is, jealousy, depression, whatever, it becomes a stronghold. Strongholds start as ideas, arguments, attitudes, and beliefs. Strongholds are established structures in the mind of people that actually are harder now to get through. But we need to understand that it started out as an idea, a proposal. Something is pushing that idea, that proposal. And we all have a choice. Most people don't actually recognize that this is happening. So they sometimes accept whatever is being proposed to them straight away. They think that what is being proposed is true. And so they agree with it and they move with it. Then we start to see this idea, this proposal manifests itself through their choices, whether they try to protect themselves or they break relationships or they break connections or they attack somebody or vilify somebody. See, they have a choice. They've accepted the proposal and then they start to believe it's their own idea. As these proposals come to us, the more informed and aware we become, the easier it becomes to discern and separate what is ours and what is not ours. For this particular example with a friend, the idea that Emily is attempting to use me to fill a gap in her time and doesn't actually prioritize our friendship over somebody else's, I don't actually believe that, but something was trying to convince me of that. That proposal is coming from the spirit realm to move me further down the track or path of isolating myself or having some jealousy or destroying basically a friendship. If I let this thought take root and it affects the friendship, it affects the connection that I have with a friend, I will then start to have the manifestations of that spirit through me. It's now informing my choices and I'm making agreements with it. This is an example of how it starts on a smaller scale, but I'm going to continue this in a part two. Yo, oh, that is quite educating. What is that? What is uh, this here? Is this a sea animal? A sea? Yo. Oh, it's like two people here. Two are these women. Are they naked? What is this that they are holding on to? Are they mermaids? What is this? Yo, what is this man? This is very creepy. Which type of animal is that? Why are they do what? What? Oh, two, it's like two large lizards are hugging each other. And then two women, what is this? Please help me to understand what is happening here. Is this some ritual that is being performed here or what's happening? Oh my God. Yo, people that live near water bodies, please, these videos, please tell us, do you get to see such kind of stuff? The normal human being uses glucose to energize themselves. This is not glucose. This is... <laughs> this is, uh... Either, either just straight up mania, like the brain chemistry is going haywire, or pre-workout that I really want to try. Does anyone have the name to this? And come on, everybody in the gym's a paid actor. Everyone is, is, is on, they, they've got to be in on this, right? Actually, no, it, it looks like they're not in on this. What is going on, dude? Ah! 
how how can you even do your workout in the background? This, this is like a hazard. <laughs> Oh man just woke up hyperactive. What's up with that guy man? Is he here on something or what do you think? Share your thoughts about that guy. That is crazy gymnastics or yo. Oh, I would even fear going at the gym if such kind of guy comes. He'll disappoint you if it's your first time there. Oh, this is crazy. That's what it was. And all the footage that we've seen, all the testimony, we had a pilot there who's going to be here who was denied access. That's a question the press ought to ask. Why is the intelligence community blocking everything we do? Both parties, doesn't matter who's in the White House. The American public deserves to know. Let's get to the bottom of it. So, I'm sorry, just to, to follow up on that, are you suggesting there are better quality images, better quality videos? I've seen better quality yes, videos, absolutely. dude. Absolutely, 100%, and they need to release them. You've talked about the bipartisan support for this. How fast can you get something moved along here in Congress and then ultimately have that declassification process and reform happen? It's like a glacier. I mean, you know, it, we get fight every step of the way. But I think the American public, and here's what's going to happen. A few of the big shots in Congress are going to get a call from some of their donors saying, hey, let's, let's get to the bottom of this. And they're, they're going to start getting interested. We've had, I've had so many congressmen put a bug in my ear saying, man, I've had, uh, some of them have told me they've had sightings and they're afraid to say anything and they're glad we're doing it. So I think we're knocking, we're knocking the varnish off of it a little bit with this. Do I think, you know, we're not going to bring you in a saucer or a little green man. That's not what it's going to be about. And I know y'all, every time you play this uh, interview with one of us, you play the theme from X-Files. I get it. But the reality is the American public deserves to know. And what you, you better be careful about a government that doesn't trust its people because there's no telling what they'll pull on you. I'm sure Jared could say that a lot more eloquently, but... I yeah. did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but I want to give Tim uh, a lot of credit going back to uh, some of your questions, which is this is a really simple hearing. It's about oversight. And I'm a and really simple guy. Is that what you're getting there? No, I wasn't no. going there. <laughs> but, but it was really hard for him to get this scheduled. It was hard for him to get it scheduled. It was hard for for uh, Congressman Luna to get it scheduled. It was hard to get a room. It was hard to get staff on board. It was hard to get approval. Every single step that they had to go through to make this hearing happen next week, the witnesses, they were stonewalled, and they had to push and push and push. Again, if there's nothing to talk about, why was it so difficult? And that, again, is what breeds these theories and these concerns. And so I think the best thing that can happen, quite frankly, just to, to end this whole deb debate, is just like, let's hear the testimony and let the government come forward and, and, and figure out what they have and share it with the American people. Anybody else? One, yes, ma'am. I think that it's probably going to be the start. What uh, Representative Burchett, myself, and my colleagues behind me have realized is that ultimately, um, as elected members and being assigned to House Oversight and Accountability, uh, we can conduct field hearings. And if we continue to get stonewalled, if we smell that they're giving us a bunch of BS, we are going to do the field hearings directly at those locations. And we're going to open it up to the press because full transparency really is what we need in this situation. And ultimately, to piggyback off of what all my colleagues have said, the military, the Pentagon, the intelligence agency, they answer to the people and thus Congress. And so we are going to hold them accountable. Everybody good? Thank you all so much. Thank Look you forward guys. to seeing you all next week.